into our space. As you can see, my beautiful kitchen studio. Um, couple techniques for you today that hopefully you can integrate into your toolbox. Um, this week's prompt is gratitude. In light of everything that's been happening lately, I thought it would be nice to focus on um, positive things. Um, the techniques I have for you today are um, more watercolor. So the first two involve items that you may or may not have around the house. So in this first container, I put about a tablespoon of Clorox bleach and then diluted it with about, um, I'd say just a, a half tablespoon of water. Um, so it's a little more bleach. And what I'm gonna do first is saturate my page and um, this is gonna help the colors bleed more. So um, we're kind of building on some of the techniques that we used last week. So I've saturated the page and then um, my colors are pre-activated with a little water and the bleach just has those colors um, kind of spread out. Um, looks cool with multiple colors. And this will add just a little more visual interest to your pages. You can use it as a base, um, you can use it on top, um, but it, it creates just some kind of fun effects with your colors. Um, the borax soap will do the same thing. And if you don't have any borax um, soap, you can use uh, salt, will create the same sort of effect, really similar to what the bleach does. Um, but will give a little texture to your page. Um, so again, just gives a, an interesting visual effect. So um, you can see the two side by side and um, see kind of the difference of the, the color um, and the way the pigment just spreads and bleeds together. So um, those are kind of fun. Give it a go, build on um, the techniques that you learned you can you know, pick and choose which you like best and incorporate those into your uh, weekly prompt. Um, lastly, are a couple more watercolor um, techniques. If you have watercolor pencils, um, we will use them just like a regular colored pencil where you color the page. And then the first technique is to activate with water. So um, you can try activating with the bleach and the borax as well. Um, and you can spread the colors, you can have the colors bleed together. Um, so very similar. Um, the cool thing about watercolor pencils, you can also activate the pencil itself, which we did not do in class because it sometimes softens the tips and makes it a little harder to sharpen. Um, but at home with your own set, feel free to give it a go. Um, and the color intensity is really nice. So you get this really dark kind of vibrant color um, quickly. So it, again, it's just another way to enhance your pages. Um, and the last technique I'll show you is using stencils. Um, again, if you have these, they're great. Um, I like to use watercolor directly. Um, for this week, I'm just gonna write thanks um, or thankful, depending on how much room I have. Um, and the trick with using the stencils, first off is to use it the correct way, um, is to put enough pigment in there, not so much water, and then lift it carefully so you don't um, blend the letters together. And then I just wipe the stencil off in between um, my letters. Um, so hopefully that gives you some ideas for your prompt this week. And if you have any questions, uh, send me an email or uh, um, contact me on Classroom. Uh, thanks for watching, have fun, bye-bye. <laughs>
Um, a couple of these you may or may not have items around the house. Uh, the first one is uh, water diluted with about a tablespoon of bleach. And I put probably only about, um, uh, I'd say two parts bleach, one part water into this cup. And then in this other cup, I used about a tablespoon of borax soap. Uh, if you don't have uh, borax soap, you can also use salt and you'll kind of get that same effect. On this side, I'm gonna use the bleach and I'm just gonna saturate the page. And um, then using the same brush, I'm going to activate my watercolors and um, as I drop it into the bleach, it just creates this kind of cool effect where the colors will, will bleed into each other. Um, and this is another great base for a painting. Um, and from there, you can let the, the colors just run and bleed into one another. The borax soap gives you a similar effect um, with a little bit more texture. So on here first I'll saturate the page and then I can put the colors right on top and they, they just kind of bleed into one another and give a um, almost like a um, fire crackers or something where the colors just bleed. Um, all right, so those are your first two techniques. A um, couple other quickly, if you have watercolor pencils around the house, you can activate them either using just water and a brush, um, which most of you have already done in class, or we didn't do this in class, but you can actually dip the watercolors into water and draw directly with those and you get a much more intense um, color on the page. Um, another way to activate it is using a water-based marker. Um, and either you can use one with a color and it'll kind of mix to give you, you know, another, another color, or um, you can use a clear uh, water-based marker as well and that will give you a cool effect um, and then finally if you happen to have stencils around the house stencils are kind of fun to work with you could you know write the the prompt for this week which is gratitude or thankful or things like that um, using the stencils and i would start off um, i like to use watercolor just directly on the stencil the only tricky part is that you have to carefully pick it up. You may want to wipe it each time um, that you um, switch letters. So that's kind of a fun, um, fun prompt to integrate. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, message me, um, but I look forward to seeing your prompts this week. Thanks so much for your time and I will see you next week.